Hello, <clears throat> my name is uh, Marco Bonen from Windfoil in the Netherlands. And in this video, we are going to make a deep dive into all the different uh, masts from F4 foils. As you know, F4 is really developing fast, really focusing on the high end segment. Um, and at the meantime, there are already six different masters, masts. So maybe it's a good idea to um, talk through all of them. Let's start here with this one. It's the uh, 85 centimeters aluminium mast. Um, for example, you use this one for the free ride or uh, the budget uh, free race. And actually, this is a really good mast. Um, the shape is good. It's a stiff mast. So actually, uh, we were really surprised. We were trying this one with the uh, free race and we were hitting quite easily 40, 80 km, 48 kilometers an hour. So I think that's a really good achievement for an aluminium mast. There's something else because you see that there's no um, uh, uh, adapter here. Um, the good thing is that you can mount a uh, deep tutor adapter, so you can use it for wind foiling, but you can also take it off and uh, put a top plate adapter on it, so quite easy. So you can use it for wing foiling as well. So one mast for two purposes. I think it's very clever. All right, the next mast. Actually, that's the good old 97 centimeter high modulus carbon mast. And I think this is the stiffest mast you can buy. Um, it's a very, very stiff mast, um, also available in uh, 107 centimeters. But I think here in Western Europe, the 97 is okay. A little bit more information uh, later on. Here it is, the latest 101 mast. Um, F4 introduced this mast this year. And actually the profile is uh, slimmer, of course, it's four centimeters longer. So this mast is a little bit lighter as well, um, and um, yeah, less drag means uh, much speed. So um, the differences between the 101 and the 97 mast, the 97 mast is, um, is stiffer, it's easier uh, to foil, and the 101 mast is a little bit more uh, responsive, uh, it gives you a little bit more feedback, it's a little bit softer as well. Um, and when you're a technical rider, you will have a lot of feedback from this mast. So if you like uh, you, you, uh, improving your technique, I think you will like this mast very, very much. I said, okay, this one is softer. Yes, it's a little bit uh, less stiff compared to the 97 mast, but still, this is a very, very stiff mast. So going a little bit deeper into the differences between the 97 mast and the 101 mast. At the end of the day, um, um, I know them both very well. And, uh, actually, the, the biggest difference I notice is the exit from the jibes. Uh, the, because the glide is so much better, you will uh, keep a uh, higher speed quite easily with the 101 mast. And also when there are some holes in the wind, uh, it's much easier to continue uh, flying at a high speed. So actually, uh, that's what I'm noticing. I'm only 82 kilos. The biggest difference is, and I think also when you're a really heavy PWA guy, I think this must will be faster at the top speed as well. Okay, um, the next one, that's the 101 GPR. It means this must is handmade in uh, Europe and they used also a, a different type of carbon. So this one, the GPR mast, is a little bit stiffer compared to the normal 101 mast. Okay, um, next. The other day, last week, F4 Foils introduced a new series. Uh, this is a GP series. And uh, you have to buy a new mast for the GP series as well, because maybe you can see it. Here the connection between the mast and the fuselage is different. So that's the reason why they developed two new masts as well. The shape of the mast um, is exactly the same as the normal 101 mast. It's also one meter and one centimeter long. And available in uh, two 
qualities as well. So this one, it's the standard version. It's exactly the same as the normal 101. And yes, here it is. Also an R version of the mast. This one uh, is also handmade in Europe and they used also a different type of carbon to make it a little bit stiffer. All right, that's it about all the, uh, the masks from F4. Please feel free to leave a comment or a question um, if you want to know a little bit more. Um, if you want to try it, of course, that's possible because in our test center, we have most of the masks available to try it. So thank you for watching. Um, do you want to have more information or you like the reviews? Please subscribe to our channel because we are uploading tons of videos and in-depth uh, information uh, videos. So stay tuned and have fun.